magnifying glass again. I would like to go through the financial and staffing irregularities again. I know we've seen them on the website, but this is vital that we do take note of this. This information has been placed on the Keithley News website by Graham with information furnished by Elizabeth. But I would like you to just again take note of what they actually said. Graham says we need to take a good look at the full council minutes from the 6th of December 2012 as they state the council were seeking advice via the YLCA and the legal advisor. That the full council voted for an investigation in the first place which was undertaken by Councillor Fedley. And on the 6th of December Councillor Metcalf informed the full council that the report put together by Councillor Pedley had to be handled, listen to this, in a strictly confidential way in order to avoid any risk to the council by its publication. It reads as though something serious was found by the investigation. This again raises questions, questions which need to be answered by Keighley Town Council. These are the questions that should be answered. A. Councillor Pedley, being the one undertaking the investigation and putting the report together, was he satisfied with how the council kept this from the full council and the public? Question. Big question is that. B. Was Councillor Pedley satisfied with what the council did with his report? C. Did Councillor Pedley satisfy... Uh, offer any recommendations to the council after his investigation. If recommendations offered, did the council act on any or all of these recommendations? What advice did the council receive from YLCA and legal advisor? For example, was it on the advice received that the council kept the findings of the report from the full councils and the public. Did the council carry out any or all advice given by the YLCA and legal advisor? What did the report contain and had to be handled in a strictly confidential way in order to avoid any risk to the council by its publication? Was any money used inappropriately? Was the council in fact following correct procedures when the financial and staffing irregularities arose? And finally, if not following correct procedures, whose fault was that? This council is very quick to quote standing orders and protocols when filming and put pen to paper to the Keighley News on this. So will Keighley Town Council now pen another letter to the Keighley News and answer the above questions? Now to this I doubt very much whether they will, but A is open, so in the meantime, it's night and God bless from Keighley Town Council. No, it's not Keighley Town, that's it. <laughs>